Ustar is bigger than you think. Now, obviously, everyone has been very excited about it over the past day or two, but after talking with people about it and reflecting on it, this is, in my opinion, according to my intuition, the biggest thing since word to vec And what I mean by that is that word to vec or sentence embedding, was what led directly to Transformers and the current revolution. Now, we've been talking about in the AI industry, do we need another algorithmic breakthrough to get to AGI? I suspect that QSTAR is that algorithmic breakthrough that allows uh, these deep transformers to master not just language, but also math. Now, there is another layer to this, and we'll unpack the rumors and leaks later, but first let's just dive into what QSTAR is and why this is critical and important. So there are four hard facts that we have to unpack here. Some of them have been reported to Reuters. So it's still going to be uh, you know, up to some debate because they had anonymous sources. However, that's not coming from Twitter or Reddit or 4chan. So the first, the concrete facts are one in May, 2023, OpenAI published a blog uh, entitled Improving Mathematical Reasoning with Process Supervision. So we know for a fact that they have been researching math uh, behind the scenes. Fact number two is that there are numerous high-powered researchers at OpenAI, such as Ilya Sutskever, but also Noam Brown. So Noam Brown was previously at Meta, and he worked on the Cicero Project as well as Labratus and Pluribus. So these are all game-playing uh, uh, reinforcement learning networks. And so Cicero was the one that outsmarted, uh, well, it, it was strategic. Um, Labratus and Pluribus are also game playing ones. So this is the guy who created superhuman level poker players as well as other games. So we have people at OpenAI who are studying, uh, gaming in, which is, you know, something that can be done by, uh, by the alpha team over at DeepMind. So, we know that they have a pretty good cross-pollination in terms of skills there. This will come back to, uh, to figure in later. Now, things get dicey when the board of OpenAI suddenly and dramatically fired Sam with no explanation. The interim CEO demanded an explanation, and they said, there's no one thing, it's just basically a vibe check. Now, as members of my Patreon community pointed out, the board had to know that they would get eviscerated for, uh, for this move if they did not have a good explanation. So why would they be so tight-lipped about it? Now, Reuters later reported that this entire episode was precipitated by a letter sent to the board by some staff researchers saying that they had done something that was a threat to humanity. Uh, now the time the timeline might be a little messed up um, here because again this is all this is all rumors and leaks and stuff reported anonymously to Reuters so that part you should take with a little bit of a grain of salt um, but it is being widely reported and then the last thing that we know is that there there is an algorithm called QSTAR that does math that's about all that we know uh, for certain um, but apparently whatever this research project was it was given a lot of compute. This is all public knowledge. Um, I'll make sure that all the links are in the description or the comments. So what is QSTAR exactly? I made a video yesterday about it, if you want a deeper dive, speculating as to how it works. But the current idea is that it, it, it could be a hybridization of Q-learning, which Ilya Sutskever and others uh, at OpenAI have published papers on Q-learning. And it's kind of a big deal right now, so there's a few papers that I'll show later in the video. Um, but it's a thing. Like, this is not... Uh, magic, it's all math. Um, but then there's the A-star algorithm, which is a pathfinding algorithm. And so the idea is, or the, the rumor is that uh, the Q-star algorithm was able to perform math very accurately, allegedly just at the level of a school child. That's still important, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. So math is big. These transformers, such as GPT, are already good at language. They're better at language than most humans. But math is another major component, and there is a different set of abilities that goes into math. So math uses the visuospatial uh, part of the brain, but it also requires formal logic or rigorous logic. Math also underpins everything that we want to achieve around physics, chemistry, cryptography, and AI itself. 
it's all basically just math under the hood, and generative pre-trained transformers like GPT-3 and GPT-4 are not particularly good at math. However, if the QSTAR algorithm makes these good at math, then that unlocks an entire new classification of problems that can be solved. So that's why just with the basic facts that we have, this is a huge deal. This is, you know, while word to vec on its own back in the day and Google's universal sentence encoder, while those on their, on their own didn't really like create a gravimetric shift in the AI, it was the first stone that dislodged the avalanche of generative pre-trained technology. I have not been this excited and also a little bit afraid of an advancement since then. And so it has been, what, six or seven years since the word Devec paper came out and everything that happened up until now. Chat GPT, uh, you know, GPT-4, Claude, all of those other things are downstream effects from word to vec uh, Now, obviously, that's a simplification. Obviously, a ton of research has been done since then, but that was the algorithmic breakthrough that unlocked an entire new skill tree. Likewise, um, just on the surface, the QSTAR algorithm, if it does perform math highly accurately at the level of a grade of a grade schooler, of a you know middle schooler, then that is the first step to solving all math um, eventually. With of course more more iterations and more work and a few more algorithms, but it is a it is a novel direction of exploration. So let's take this a level further and talk about the leaks. Jimmy Apples is an entity on Twitter who has had some. Uh, prescience in terms of predicting what things are going to be uh, happening. So, for instance, he said, there's been a vibe change at OpenAI and we risk losing some key ride-or-die OpenAI employees. This came out October 25th, uh, just a few weeks before the whole board fiasco with Sam Altman blew up. Then, as the whole issue was being resolved, he posts, what did Ilya see? With the uh, with the image of Jared Leto from Dune, um, just before he was killed. Um, and then uh, a little bit earlier, AGI has been achieved internally. So September, October, November. So this series of events, uh, if you take this leak with any credibility, AGI was achieved, then the vibe changed because maybe they were arguing over safety and security and how to proceed, and then everything goes to hell in a handbasket and something spooked them. Now again, this is in t this is from Twitter. Um, it could just be a troll, but the 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 prescience, the accuracy, and consistency um, is uh, noteworthy here. So just take all this with a grain of salt. But what criteria would constitute AGI in this case? If you accept it at face value, and the internal conversation, the internal mood has shifted because people at OpenAI b honestly believe that they have achieved AGI or are on the trail to AGI, what does that mean? So this is where the conspiracy theory gets even deeper. This is a redacted letter that was allegedly leaked from OpenAI. Uh, the subject line is re-Q451921. Now, this is uh, totally unverified. It was allegedly posted on Reddit or 4chan. So again, take that with a very deep grain of salt. Now, one thing that I will say is that Llama was also leaked on 4chan. So it is not unheard of for advanced AI information to be leaked on 4chan. Um, so still, take it all with a grain of salt. But if the contents of this letter are true, which we are about to unpack, I'll unpack it paragraph by paragraph. If the contents of this letter are true, this is a seismic shift and it needs our attention. Um, so I would personally prefer for this letter to be false. Let me start by saying that, that I am not sharing this because I am trying to say, we're at AGI, you know, time to you know, pop, the, pop the champagne. If this letter is true, it is bad. I want it to not be true, <laughs> which is why it's like, okay, I'm holding out hope because it was posted on 4chan or Reddit or whatever. So let's unpack this one paragraph at a time, and I will explain to you why this is bad, if it is true. Paragraph one. Furthermore, Qualia has demonstrated an ability to statistically significantly improve the way in which it selects its optimal action selection policies 
uh, in different deep Q networks, different deep Q networks, implying multiple, exhibiting metacognition. In other words, it's thinking through about the problem space and choosing the optimal path um, or the optimal uh, policies in order to choose the optimal actions. It later demonstrated an unprecedented ability to apply this for accelerated cross-domain learning. So you could you could think that of that as uh, transfer learning or learning different problem spaces, such as learning different games, after specifying custom search parameters and the number of times the goal state is to be scrambled. So this paper is not directly relevant, but I wanted to bring uh, papers into the conversation to show that this is an active field of research. Deep transformer Q networks for partially observable reinforcement learning. This is something that is all the rage right now. So it is eminently plausible that this kind of research is going on. So I had um, I had a combination of ChatGPT and my Patreon community looking at this, and we all agreed that this explain it like I'm five is an accurate reading of the content of this letter. Now, obviously, the letter is unverified, but the way that we broke it down is. Uh, imagine you have a super smart robot that learns to play different games. Normally it learns step by step. However, because this robot can think about its own thinking, it can uh, be more conscientious about the strategy that it chooses to win. Now, beyond that, it can take the lessons that it learned from one game and transfer them quickly to other games, um, even if those the rules of those games get mixed up or the policies get scrambled. So in this case, it is able to operate in a more dynamic and unpredictable environment, which is similar to the real world, but also a dynamic and unpredictable environment is similar to one that is adversarial or contested, such as a hostile environment in military applications or in cybersecurity environments. Keep that in mind. Paragraph two. Following an unsupervised learning session on an expanded ad hoc data set consisting of articles uh, in descriptive inferential statistics and cryptanalysis, it analyzed millions of plaintext and ciphertext pairs from various crypto systems. Via a ciphertext-only attack, in other words, it looked only at the encrypted text, it provided a plaintext from a given AES-192 ciphertext used uh, by using tau analysis, achieving Project Tundra's alleged goal in a way we do not yet fully understand. So this is very, very Byzantine. Um, and again, I included a research paper to show that this is an active area of research, so it is eminently plausible that yes, OpenAI or whoever published this paper or uh, sent this letter, if it is in fact real, could be working on something like this. But let me explain what this paragraph means in simpler terms. Ciphertexts are secret messages, they are encrypted. So imagine that you um, trained a model by just reading lots of papers, lots of articles and you know textbooks and other things to under to embed and understand uh, the aspects of math and statistics and crypto analysis. So that implies that this is a language model, um, or at least partially a language model, if it was able to read just you know a bunch of articles on on uh, cryptography. And then they also had it read lots and lots of plain text and ciphertext pairs to learn to um, basically this is kind of the input and output. Um, so they're like, okay, this scrambled text equals this unscrambled text. And so then they were able to uh, then at inference time give it a, an AES-192 scrambled ciphertext that it was able to decrypt without the keys. That is impressive to say the least, and I will show you why in just a moment, but keep all this in mind. This is an eminently plausible line of research that is actively happening. Paragraph three, a claimed full pre-image vulnerability for the MD MD5 cryptographic hash function with a theoretical computational complexity of two to the 42nd bits, that's a really damn big number, was also presented but not yet been thoroughly evaluated due to the technical sophistication of its arguments and the possible AES vulnerabilities being a considerably more pressing concern. I will explain why that is a quote-unquote significantly more pressing concern or, uh, in just a moment. Um, but again, we've seen some really interesting things where AI ha recently has been able to participate in cracking things. So for instance, 
there was a there was one paper recently that showed that um, a USB drive by reading the power variations coming from a keyboard were able to reverse engineer what was being uh, typed. Likewise, there was a, a, a similar one where listening to the keystrokes over Zoom was able to re-engineer what was being typed. Cryptography is rapidly being attacked by AI. So let's unpack what this paragraph means. One day, someone figures out uh, a way that might let people guess the secret handshake, sh handshake just by watching others do it. Again, this is what we've seen um, with other kinds of AI. Uh, this is a big problem because the handshake is supposed to be secret that only club members know. This is cryptography 101 where you have uh, signs and counter signs in order to um, understand like, okay, yes, you have verified your identity. You have authenticated. They confirm that this is that, that, that it really is a new way to figure out the secret handshake. So let's unpack AES-192 and why this is a big deal. Um, I, I apologize, I forgot to uh, include the source for these, these um, charts, but the time to crack an AES-192 bit is uh, 1.8 times 10 to the 37 years. That's a long time that it should take to crack. If a GPT or some other kind of deep neural network is able to crack it in a seemingly trivial amount of time, this disrupts everything that we know about cryptography. The implication here is that QSTAR or Qualia was able to discover new maths that are beyond human comprehension to achieve something we thought only quantum computing could achieve. It would be better for humanity if this were entirely false and just a troll. I am not exaggerating here. An advancement this profound alone would send shockwaves through the cybersecurity and military world. Beyond that, it would be eminently possible to solve other math problems like AGI. But this isn't the end of it. The last paragraph is even more interesting. Paragraph 4. It's, it's suggested targeted unstructured underlying pruning of its model after evaluating the significance of each parameter for inference accuracy. It also suggested, meaning this implies that the, this model made suggestions about how to improve itself by evaluating itself. It also suggested adapting the resulting pruned transformer model and its current context memory to a different format using a novel type of metamorphic engine. The feasibility of that suggestion has not been evaluated, but is currently not something we recommend implementing. So a lot of us have, have you know, you, we've started pointing GPT-4 and other things at code bases, and GPT-4 is actually really good at making recommended uh, architectural changes to software architectures, code changes, and so on. The implication here is that Qualia, or whatever this is, QSTAR, was able to look at how to modify itself. And they said they <laughs> this letter shows that they kind of came up short and said, we don't recommend doing that just yet. So it basically said, I want to turn myself into a metamorphic engine. And so I, I, um, I wanted to show that polymorphic transformers, uh, according to this paper, are also a thing that is being researched. So you could say metamorphic or polymorphic, um, but taking a step back, let's look at what these phrases and terms imply. So everything that we've unpacked here, rapid general generalization, the ability to quickly apply knowledge from one domain to another. So this has been uh, demonstrated um, by, you know, Alpha, Alpha Go and Alpha Star and all those other ones where, you know, DeepMind has been able to create engines that can generalize across many games. Um, and there are some researchers at OpenAI who worked on similar projects. Self-transformation, metamorphic engine. So now, while it looks like they didn't actually test this, the fact that a model is able to, one, do math at this level, and then can make these suggestions means that maybe it can self-transform uh, or, is, or is eminently capable of self-transformation. The ability to ch fundamentally change its architecture is interesting, and we didn't think that this was coming soon. Self-improvement, so pruning. Again, this is something that it suggested. We, it is implied that this Qualia model or this QSTAR model was not actually given the opportunity uh, to self-improve, to uh, train itself. However, when you look earlier at the thing, uh, at the leaked letter, 
they talked about metacognition. So even if it wasn't able to change its uh, its transformer, it was still able to path select uh, the correct policies in order to guess the next actions. And so to put that in human terms, that is basically saying, okay, what I'm doing isn't working. Let me try a different approach. Let me try a fundamentally different approach to solve this problem. Self-assessment, the ability to evaluate its own parameters for their importance in making accurate predictions or decisions is a form of introspection or metacognition. It seems like it's already using this in order to solve math problems. And then finally, creative problem solving. Um, it was able to suggest novel solutions in order uh, to improve itself, but also it apparently came up with novel math in order to crack AES-192. This is huge if true. The implications cannot be overstated if this is true. So the final call to action for you is to demand accountability and demand a tra transparency. The stakes are too high not to. Thank you.